Greetings, beloved. This is Archangel Gabriel. We want you to stop giving away your power. How are you doing this? In so many ways. But the focus of today's message is that there are many requests being given to us guides, asking for explanations of these influxes of energy, for explanations of astrological alignments and waves of energy, as well as gateways, portals, and alignments. These are real phenomena. But they do not dictate your life. They do not dictate the patterns of energy on this planet. They are as much a part of you as you are of them. You are the new energies on this planet. When we talk about change, when we talk about the victory of the light, when we talk about the transformation and transmutation of existing systems, it would be quite possible for someone who does not subscribe to a spiritual belief system to look at all of these changes and see that they are socially motivated. They could draw many statistics, they could draw data, they could pull news articles, they could show you the paper trail to show you why these changes are happening. Yes, that is the material perspective, and it is only a part of the picture. But what we want you to know, what we want you to integrate fully, is that you are the changes. You are the new energy. It is not coming from outside yourselves. The more all of you come into synchronization on the same vibrational frequency, the more your hearts are aligned, the more your uh, explanation of events, the more your interpretation of signs and alignments and astrological phenomena is brought into harmony, as long as you remember that what you are seeing is a tiny slice of the larger picture. And just because someone else interprets it as statistical data, it does not mean they are your enemy. It is not someone you have to convince. The hearts can be aligned. This transformation has entered human consciousness, global, coherent consciousness, which is increasing every single day. You are beginning to function as a global consciousness, as its own individual identity, the consciousness of humanity. And just as each of you is an infinite well of complexity because of your divinity, you are infinite. Therefore, you are infinitely faceted. You are complicated creatures. There is division in your own individual minds. There is cognitive dissonance. There is conflicting beliefs within you. There is the truth of your reality, and there is the truth as you remember it, or the truth as you wish to see it. Simply because you are becoming a single, global consciousness, it does not mean you do not still have all of these infinite complexities within the sphere of human consciousness. If anything, you are even more so. It is that complication, that multifaceted nature, that makes the mark of your divinity. It is the thumbprint of Source. So when you are consulting, looking for guidance, seeking explanations for an understanding of what is happening in this world, 
recognize your own individual role that you are playing, even if you stay in your house and do nothing all day for a year. <laughs> you would still be a participant, for you are incarnate. You are shifting your own view of this world. You are constantly analyzing, growing, becoming more deep, more complex, more in tune with your divine nature. Even if that was all you did in this material world, you would still be contributing to these energetic shifts on this planet. People keep asking, well, if these shifts have arrived, why are we not seeing the changes? We humbly submit that maybe you are not going out and causing the change you wish to see. Yes, these forces are real. Yes, they are at work on your world, but they are collaborative forces, beloved. So many of you are sitting back. So many of you feel that you have awoken or that you have arrived and you have ceased to participate in your own immediate communities. You see yourselves as above those who are less enlightened than you. This is a separation. This is a withdrawal. Others are on the opposite end of this. They are so convinced of their version of the truth, they are intent on convincing as many people as possible that they have the truth, that they have the one light, and that anyone who does not agree with them is subject to being outside of these changes, to being separated. But this individual, beloved, is creating their own version of separation. The fastest way towards global coherence is to recognize that all of you have incarnated for separate, disparate purposes, and yet you are all one. That is the paradox of the material. The fastest way to increase global coherence is to honor one another's sovereign path. You have a sovereign space in which you exist. You have a path chosen by you for you. So does everyone else. Love them where they are. Extend unconditional love and acceptance for each individual's drama. They are playing their own story. You can honor that. The more you encourage this, the more you help to bring global coherence because you resist those temptations of separation to see yourself as above or to see yourself as having arrived and therefore taking a step back. Be involved. Show love. And mind your business. <laughs> you are here to work out your own karma. It is not for you to take up the baggage of another being. You can support, but do not carry their baggage for them. This is Archangel Gabriel. Peace, blessings, and joy be with you. Thank you for bearing with me on that message. <laughs> I love Archangel Gabriel. Um, does not mince words. <laughs> I've been hearing little pieces of this message for a while, and um, I asked Archangel Gabriel if they wouldn't mind coming in and uh, just putting it all together for us. So thank you. I... <laughs> I hope he didn't ruffle too many feathers. Um, I know that a lot of these things are very important to to people, especially I, I have very close friends who um, alignments and um, understanding of how energy is coming into this planet and into our solar system is very important to them. And it is, it's important and it's, it's real, but 
<laughs> there was a, a little bit of a playful frustration um, recently in the messages coming through and they were just like, people are, are giving away their sovereignty. And so uh, it was kind of fun to bring this through today. It's maybe a little tough love, but uh, I think well worth it. If you don't want to share these messages directly, you can help them spread by clicking the like button. That increases the video's play count in YouTube's algorithm. So it's uh, the technology that can be our ally. Um, I am not interested in reaching billions of people. If just one person sees this message and they are impacted by it in a positive way, I have done my duty. I have uh, been totally fulfilled and I can die happy. <laughs> So thank you. If you're that person, thank you for watching. And I hope you subscribe and get some more messages. Uh, this has been a really fun journey to start this year and it will be continuing. And as I said, I am working on some other projects to bring to this channel as well. And we already dropped a meditation video last week and there will be another one coming next month. So please come back for that. They're uh, sort of an active meditation instead of just letting the thoughts come and go, it's more taking an active role in visualizing and doing some actual energy work on your own self. So come back for that next week. All right, thanks so much, and I won't keep you any longer. Have a great rest of your day. This was Daniel Zafer Joyce for Universal. Today's video was recorded at Mammoth Rocks, which is in Sonoma County, and I am on the coast by Goat Rock Beach, as well as Blind Beach. And it's called Mammoth Rocks because there are these areas where the rocks have been rubbed smooth, and it's all about 8 to 15 feet from the ground. And that's just about the height of the Colombian Mammoth that used to live in this region several million years ago. <laughs> so the mammoths would, it is theorized, would rub themselves against these rocks to groom themselves. And I really wanted to record here when I found out about it. I'd already seen this location and I had marked it as a place I wanted to explore and visit. But when I marked it, that's when I learned that it's an actual uh, point of interest because of these history that they carry connected to our distant, distant past on this planet, to a time when survival was our primary occupation. <laughs> Possibly before there were even that many people as we would know them on this planet. So thanks for exploring Mammoth Rocks with me this week, and I hope uh, to bring you something also just as beautiful next week. But it's always the goal every week. So thanks again, and just thought I'd share this with you as a little Easter egg at the end of the video.